Hello and welcome back to Reach. Today we're going to blow up some stuff again. However, this time in space. Our foe is more devious than we imagined. That spire was indeed a teleporter linked to a cloaked Covenant supercarrier, a great threat. Thankfully, help is imminent. 60% of the UNSC fleet is en route to reach from existing deployments. The first battle group should arrive within 48 uh. hours. 48 hours? That's imminent? Uh-oh. Who's your money on this time? Her. You always pick her. Mm. She's always had him dialed in. That thing's crushing us and we're waiting for backup. They'll be backing up a graveyard. All our nukes are either out system or went down with the ships that carry them. You're preaching to the converted. How converted? I know that look, Kat. You can say no. No. You don't even want to hear it? <clears throat> Fine, I'll hear it. Remember that accident a couple years back? Colony ship en route to Cygnus, 700 dead. Vaguely a slip space drive malfunction, right? Actually, it worked fine. The drive was mounted improperly after a service haul-out. When it fired, it teleported half the ship to oblivion. Uh, this is relevant. How? A certain Covenant supercarrier could, with some assistance, suffer the same unfortunate accident. Even for you, Cat, that's... Inspired? Not the word I would use. What's going on? Go ahead. Explain. May I? Don't cut yourself. Objective? Destroy Covenant Carry in geosynchronous orbit above us. This sanction, sir. What do you think? Oh. Method? A slip space drive in lieu of the nukes we don't have. Delivery system? Us. Solvable? Getting us up there. That and getting our hands on a slip space drive. Thank you for sharing. So, all we need is orbit-capable transport and the single most expensive piece of equipment made by man. As a soldier in the field, I couldn't possibly have access to those kinds of resources. That said, a good place to look might be, I don't know, the nearest non-existent launch site in the non-existent Sabre program dismissed by three administrations as preposterous rumor, and in which our newest member was certainly never a pilot. It's scary. You know that. All we need is a green light from Holland. Good luck with that. You're the one asking him. Well, there's no way in hell he's going to go for this. to the launch facility. Any closer is too hot to land. Could be that, Commander. Move up the beach, Noble. Apparently there was a way in hell, and Carter just got it. So yeah, storm the beach, run up the top, kill stuff. The usual, you... Well, run up the fucking beach? You're a friggin' Spartan. Run faster, bloody hell. Out, fuck guns, use your fist. And now you're out of fists, fuck everything. Literally, just whip out your sparring dick, fuck it. You can do it. The first thing I hate about drop pods is 
some reason I can never tell if they're empty or not. Yes, I know, they drop uh, down and they jump immediately, but Halo 2 kind of cock slap me with that. So drop and go for cover. The rocks to the south. I'll kill your head. I'll go up to the rocks and kill everything. Let's see, snap to my position. We'll just harass some forward runs. God knows that's always fun. Unnecessary use of sticky. People are gonna bitch about that. Big time. is where I attempt to pick up a rocket launcher from an ally, then presumably want to go and kill a wraith, but instead of doing that, the same person do it, does, I turn around, grab the rocket launcher, run all the way where the wraith is, just to shoot it. I am not quite sure what I was thinking, nor do I want to know. All I know is that for some awful reason, I decided it was a great idea to run back down, make this video like four minutes longer, run all the way to the wraith, blow it up, even though the marines should be fully capable of doing this, and it poses no immediate threat to me, nor is there any freaking bonus for killing it, and I still did it. I have no idea why I did that. Seriously. Maybe I thought I could enter here, maybe I thought there was some kind of an easter egg, I don't know. I recorded this like last week, and I have no clue what I was smoking at the time of recording. And I don't even smoke people. So this is freaking weird. That said, I'm running back inside like a nice little retard, so pretend it never happened. Yet again, I straddle into a corridor with nothing of value. Nothing of value. I am an idiot. Come on, people, say it with me. I'm an idiot. Well, you people say you are, and I say I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, another thing I didn't get is, like, I know there was one elite that came out, killed everyone, etc., etc. Nice. But how the hell did they manage to kill that other one with the freaking sword? Last time I checked, those are more dangerous. Yeah, me and Kat are going down the fucking ship. Yeah, you kick that thing. You heard it, six. Launch team. Let's go. Saber is prepped and ready for launch. Yeah, thanks. So yeah, sabers, space, combat. You'll see.
space. That joke will never get old. Okay, it just did. So yeah, this thing. It holds like an awkward banshee machine gun, pistols. Double six. Yeah. These sabers have been customized for orbital defense. You may need to get reacquainted. Rendezvous at anchor nine with frigate Savannah and the other sabers as soon as you And the mandatory oh, death by stupidity. Wee. Okay, now that we have that out of the way. Affirmative noble five. Welcome to Operation Uppercut. I'll be your control from here on out. Understood, Colonel. Noble Six, these sabers have been customized for orbital defense. You may need to get reacquainted. Reacquainted, he means with the hull of the enemy the ship. Sabers, as soon as you're ready. Down. Like I just did to the Allied ship. I wonder how long a clean job that big would take. Let's see, not only did I crash a ship into their entire port, I have probably made blood splatter all over the place, decompression into ship, that kind of crap. Well, six. We should head for the Savannah. We should head for the Savannah, he says. What do you think I've been hovering over? Savannah actual to Sabre teams. Be advised, we have bogeys inbound. Anchor nine to all UNSC well, ships stationed in the bogeys are down. Requesting combat support until we can right. bring them back online. Uh oh. Here we go, six. Show them what you can do. Okay, I'll just fly into the nearest wall, and that'll be the end of the demo. Defensive batteries are at 56%. Hang in there, Saber teams. For those who ever played Freelancer, meet your hot out. This is almost the exact same system, only less advanced, I guess. That and that you the threat, unless they're right behind you, in which case you should just do a power roll and call it a day. Exactly. Yeah, unfortunately, there's not really much to say about this other than you're in space, you're shooting crap, and you're doing power rolls. Interesting, isn't it? The session takes just long enough to get on your nerves, but not enough to make you want to quit. So, I guess Bungie kind of did a good job on that one. That, and somewhere it's oh so bloody gratifying to just pump a fuckload of this. Impulse drive signatures detected. I don't know, I heard it Heads up, Sabres. Weapons hot. Saber teams, use your guns to take down their shields, then hit them with your missiles. Defensive batteries at 79%. Buy us another minute, Saber teams. probably worth mentioning, but if you ram yourself into those things, there's a 50-50 chance you'll make it and a 50-50 chance you'll die in a horrible burn to your fire. That said, I do not recommend ramming your jet into anything. That's something to reserve only for battlefield. If you ever played that, you'll understand what I mean. Is there any place the Covenant isn't? Mars, Venus, currently Earth, that's a new tank. Clear the lane, light them up. Great shot, enemy burn 
I ah, yes, ye old defensive barrel. Ye old, I will shoot my ally five times in the butt during this recording, making him start this segment all over again. Thanks for that, by the way, game. Really appreciate it. Jesus Christ. You know, the more I think about it, and especially with the people that recently saw my anniversary trap, um, yeah, Halo has this weird thing where you will die for the weirdest of reasons. And often you'll be left wondering what the fuck just happened, to blame it on something, and you just keep on going. See that grunt that suddenly popped up a grenade just as you were too close to get away from it. That one turd that flew 50 yards and hits you in the face in the four seconds of the video. That one flood with the rocket launcher that doesn't really fucking like you a lot. No, I am not sour, I'm just pissed. That said, um, Beach doesn't have so many of these little Whoopsie shot, moments as much as uh, their player driven. That came out horrible. Um, long story short, hey. in this game, you won't die from random crap unless you're in this segment, because every now and again, the gun battery will accidentally hit you in the ass like it just did, and God forbid you're low on shield or something. Outside of that, you are pretty much safe. Like, the only thing that can kill you is running into a car and shooting leads, not being smart about it. Or getting close to a run just as about to go pop. That said, the other games have all these weird little gimmicky things like turrets and crap. And you hit them and they explode and they go flying into your face and you're like, ah, my face! And it's like, haha, your face! Ah, yes, drop ships. When in doubt, just grab missiles and keep mashing buttons. Pops. This mission would probably be more difficult or intense if you actually had a limit on how many rockets or bullets you had and you had to redock or something. Yes, I know it would make it annoying for professional players. I know it wouldn't be so fun, it would get tedious, but still, it be, you know, slightly more realistic in a not-so-realistic game. That said, this is way too easy because you have a regenerating fucking ship. I mean, you have shields that regenerate, and apparently there's Zerg in this universe because everyone invented regenerative biosteel. Like, everyone and their mom. Even your fucking Spartan suit regenerates to a certain degree. I'm out here, Six. Warning. Unspec reentry package is engaged. I need your override. Warning. Unspec reentry. Cockpit depressurization complete. Canopy release lever armed. Please repeat. Pull up surface grid 19 by 22. Gladly. Only sword face. Sector 18G. Thermal enhance. Noble 5. Your pulse is elevated. There is nothing you can do for Dr. Halsey and the others inside sword face. The mathematics are determinate. Noble 5. Colonel. 
Six out. Target confirmed. 